So now, as the previous example, we saw how can we represent a data in a view through a controller. Now in this video, we'll see how can we use filters in showing the data in some customized format. So when we talk about filters, we can actually modify the data representation, how we want to show the data. It actually also used for the search criteria. For example, if you have a large number of records somewhere in a page and you want to make a search, you can use the filters for the searching criteria as well. And we can also create some customized filters here, which we will see. So here, uppercase, lowercase, currency, order by and filter. These are the available filters that we have in AngularJS. If I talk about uppercase and lowercase, so as the name says, when you are retrieving some string type of data and you want to convert its case, you can go for uppercase and lowercase. Similarly, if you want to add some currency symbol like dollar, pound or any currency with the amount. So you can use currency in that case. Order by for sorting the data in ascending or descending order through a particular column. And finally, to make a search operation, we have a filter. So these are the different filter which we have in AngularJS. So now let's see a quick example. Like here you can see it's a uh, quite similar way uh, which we were watching in the previous example. The first name, last name, gender, salary. These are the four columns. So here you can see while showing the data out here, I used uppercase. So the first name would be converted into the uppercase completely. Similarly, lowercase for the last name. So the last name would be converted in the lowercase. Then uh, gender. In gender we haven't passed any. Now again in salary you can see like we have passed the currency filter. So by default, it will add dollar as the currency symbol. If you want, we'll see that how can you change the currency symbol right here. Apart from that, you can see like in this ng repeat, we have mentioned that order by salary. That simply means like we are going to sort the data on the basis of salary. All right. By default, it will be ascending order and filter that is for searching the records. So here we have seen search text means there is a text box right here in the top in which the model is search text. So whatever you will type in this will be shown in the page, rest data would be hidden. So let's quickly see how this implementation will look like. So here in this example, we will discuss about filters where we are going to use the previous example and we'll apply the filters in the same one. So in the previous example, we have actually read this record in our page using ng repeat. And here, now you can see like we have put several filters during the read operation. So here, like in the first name, you can see just after passing this pipe symbol, we have applied the uppercase for converting the whole first name as in the uppercase. We have used lowercase filter for putting it in the last name, gender as it is, and salary currency. If you don't want to specify any specific currency, you can simply just go for the currency filter and it will make the default currency symbol right be between, right before the salary symbol, right? That is the dollar. So if you want any specific, you can use that particular currency symbol right here just by passing the colon and in the double quotes. So this particular symbol would be treated as the currency symbol for my output. Apart from that, I want to sort my data as in the sorted order of salary. Since you can see here I have chosen order by salary, please make sure that you are using it with the same cases. So here it is salary. So by default, your data would be in the sorted manner of salary in ascending order, right? So let's check so far what we have done. So you can see first name is in the uppercase, last name is in the uh, lowercase and the output is in the sorted manner of salary in the ascending order. If you want to make the same sorting in the descending order, you can just add this hyphen symbol and if you refresh, you will see that now the data is being sorted as the descending order. All right. 
just to make the search operation more easier for the large number of records we have taken a text box with the model search text we haven't specify anything like for which particular field we are going to make search so whatever you will enter it will compare for all the fields and you can see right here in the filter filter we have used the same search text the same model which we have used means it is going to filter help us in filtering the data for example if I'll start typing any of the field like Edward the first name all right you can see first I've sorted it in the first name I'll start Fox uh, typing Fox it will sort in the uh, sorry it will search in the last name if I'll enter female I'll get all the females if I'll enter salary 30,000 I'll just get the salary all right so this is how you can see like the single uh, text box is being used for searching the data in any field but if you want to make it for the specific fields what I have done any model with the dot first name or last name that is our field name right so now you can see the model name is search rather than search text so let me remove this first all right and uh, let's put a line break yep so now it should be better all right so uh, now what what we'll do is we will modify the search text with search so search is the model and then dot first name last name is the field on the basis of which you want to search so let's refresh it and if I will enter female you see I got nothing because it is strictly for the first name if I will type s you see the first we got the data in the first through the first name and similarly if I will enter something in the la for the last name like p you got it for the last name so this is how you can implement the filters in your angular.js pages